not sure about how much today I'm going to film because we're in a public park so I don't know how much I can get away with out here but I'm really today going to pull things out of the van I don't want my bed this way because climbing out of the bed sideways is easy it's comfortable you know it's nice to get in nice to get out it's you know putting it lengthwise I'm going to have to either shimmy myself out the opposite way or shimmy myself at the bottom of the bed and I'm not really down for that Besides, I use part of my bed as a seat, so when I'm doing editing work, I end up using a good half my bed to sit down on and put my tabletop in front of me, so running it lengthwise, I'm gonna lose a lot of that, especially if Disco wants to get up on the bed while I'm editing, that's gonna be an issue, so I like it this way. I don't know what I'm doing. Ow. Bike under the bed, waste of space. This is all the bed frame is made of. Super easy. How I feel about this, I don't know. I'm definitely gonna have, if I keep it this way, I'm gonna have to redo all the bracing on the bottom because I need to be able to get, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'll reuse parts of these, but I need to get boxes underneath. I don't know how I feel. I think this just might work. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Look like a scrub. So, the bed has been rotated. A bit of a frustrating experience, but I got it done. Um, I'm gonna take a look at how to redo the legs and stuff on it, and I might go down to Home Depot over the weekend and restructure the legs underneath so I can get access to the boxes because there's no access to any of my storage boxes at all so i'm gonna do that this weekend and then you know hopefully it'll work out this way i mean it sucks because i lost all my dj space in the back but mind you my bike was taking up that space anyway <sighs> i have to go have a shower man i like literally feel like garbage I just realized that all of my clean clothes are under the bed. feel good Woo! <laughs> I know weird things sometimes but that was freaking amazing so I got an email we're heading to go pick up my new cooler and before we wrap this video up I'm gonna answer some questions that were in my last video about what I should do in the back of my van and I'm gonna give you my answers why I think some of those things are good ideas and some of them are <laughs> all right let's go get that cooler I feel like a whole new man after that shower. Let's 
take a look at the new cooler. I think this little thing is perfect. You know, the other cooler I had, I never really used even a portion of it. For me in here, a little bit of ice in the bottom, a six pack, some veggies on the top side, man, I'm good to go. And the cool part about this is, is my plan is when I build the Vano, I wanna put this inside of a cupboard and like sink it, ah, whatever, you'll see when the time comes. Yeah, so everything's kind of like out of the way. I am a happy boy. Now let's address some of the suggestions people had for, you know, my van about putting stuff on the roof or hiding things with a curtain and stuff like that. And there's there were so many of them, but let, let's just address a few that I had got repeatedly. One is putting stuff on the roof of the van. That's not me, that's not my style. And if I, if I got something that I can just throw in a box on the roof, it's probably not going to be that important to me anyway. I'm not about to stick my full suspension mountain bike on the roof, are you freaking kidding me? No damn way. <sighs> What else could I stick on the roof? Nothing that I really have in the van. Like, the way I look at it, you know, I have a large enough van that if I can't fit stuff in my van, then well, I just probably shouldn't have it anyway. You know, I'm not putting DJ gear up there. I'm not putting my mountain bike up there, nor, I mean, even if, even if I were to put my mountain bike gear on the roof, it still wouldn't make much difference in the van. I also had a few people suggest that I just, you know, curtain off sections so I don't have to see it. You know, for me, well, that wasn't the point. The point isn't just to hide it. The point is to organize the clutter so it's organized. The second I start throwing stuff behind a curtain or behind a wall just to hide it would drive me crazy to know that it's a ruckus on the other side of the wall. The key is to put things in a place where they belong so they always stay organized and it, you know, it doesn't give me room to start stacking more stuff on top of it, you know what I mean? It's like having a messy garage. I don't want a messy garage in the back of the van. So for me, it's gotta be built and organized. What else, what other ones out there do I get a lot? I think we're gonna leave it at that. I wanna go edit this video and while we still got some beautiful sunshine left in the day, me and the dog are gonna go enjoy a walk. It's t-shirt and short weather, so I'm happy about that, that's for damn sure. Anyway guys, thanks for hanging out with us today. And at least you guys got to see, you know, what a van life day is when things aren't always so exciting. Some van life channels out there give you all the butterflies and rainbows. Well, here you kind of get both.